Now, for a couple of weeks, I've been wanting to make this video, but now that we saw what happened on Monday night, I for sure want to make this video. Today, we're talking about Miles Bryant, the newest undrafted free agent cornerback by Bill Belichick that has turned out to be pretty darn good. Now, either way, no matter how his career turns out, he's had a few good games this year, which is more than is expected with a undrafted free agent. You know, if, if you're an undrafted free agent and you get to start in a game, your career has basically gone better than expected from that draft point. So for Miles Bryant, it's already been above average. Now, off the top of my head, I can think of many different cornerbacks for the Patriots that have been undrafted, and a couple of them are some of our best cornerbacks in recent years. First one, Malcolm Butler, who obviously had that incredible interception, uh, one of the best plays in Patriots history uh, versus the Seahawks in the Super Bowl, and that was the winning play. Literally, without that play, we almost certainly would not have won that Super Bowl. Uh, and then he went on to actually have, I think it was two or three really good years after that, especially the year after that was really, really good. Uh, in the year, it kind of declined after that point, but he was a really solid cornerback for years. Uh, he was actually that first year after the Super Bowl, one of the top, I'd probably say he was a top 10 cornerback easily uh, that year after the Super Bowl. I think it was 2015, the 2015 season, I want to say, uh, but that was a really good year for him. Uh, and then obviously we had Jonathan Jones, who is still on the roster. He's just injured this year. I think he tore his ACL or it was his Achilles. It was one of the bad ones, but we're hoping to get him back next season. Probably the best slot cornerback in the NFL, uh, if not a top three best slot cornerbacks in the NFL. Also one of the fastest cornerbacks in the NFL. And Jonathan Jones has been one of my favorite players to watch over the past few seasons. Uh, and he's really doing a lot more than he gets credit for with our defense typically. Um, and he's been really good. So he's one of our cornerbacks that, is likely going to be starting next season. He just signed a three-year extension, I think. It was either last year or the year before, so he is under contract next year regardless. J.C. Jackson is the next one that comes to mind, and obviously he gets enough recognition. He's the best out of all of them, I believe. I do believe he has uh, surpassed Malcolm Butler by this point as far as our cornerback rankings in recent years. I think Stephon Gilmore obviously gets the, the highest ranking out of all of our cornerbacks in the most recent years, and he's right up there with Ty Law, in my opinion. But the thing is, uh, we're talking about undrafted cornerbacks exclusively here, so I think right now J.C. Jackson has been the best out of all of them so far. Malcolm Butler right below him, Jonathan Jones right below uh, Malcolm Butler at this point. Uh, and then there's the new guy, Miles Bryant here. He's 23 years old. Uh, we got him as an undrafted free agent last season. Uh, so not this season, but last season, he was the undrafted free agent to make the roster. Uh, he's five foot nine, so he's a little bit on the smaller side, only 185 pounds. Uh, but he's been playing the slot cornerback position in Jonathan Jones' absence, uh, and it has been awesome to see him develop. Now, we're just going to go week by week according to Pro Football Focus. Week four was the first week that he made an appearance, and he actually played as a free safety. He did that last season, and he did this in that week as well. And he had a 62.3 overall ranking, defensive ranking from Pro Football Focus. Now, week five versus the Houston Texans, he had a 64.8 ranking, and he actually played slot cornerback that week and beyond that point. So the only week he played free safety or basically anything other than then the slot cornerback was week four. So week five, 64.8 grade. Now week seven, he played versus the Jets, and he had a 67.7 grade. And then he played versus the Chargers in week eight and had a 78.6 grade. And then versus Carolina the next week, a 75.6 grade. And then week 10 versus Cleveland, a 71.1 grade. Now things got a little bit downhill from that point for a little bit there. Atlanta, 29.5 grade. I'm not exactly sure what went wrong that game for him because we didn't really play. The defense didn't play bad at all, so I'm not exactly sure on the details there of what went wrong, uh, but I'm guessing he gave up a few catches, and that's what went wrong for the most part. And then versus Tennessee as well, 41.6 grade. But then versus Buffalo, obviously he had that really good play uh, on Monday night, but he had a 65.8 overall grade as well, which is really really awesome to see. Uh, so it, it did have a little bit of a, a dip there in his overall uh, season, but I think 
overall he's played really well and on the on the season he has a 67.3 grade which is really really good up for a third cornerback obviously some teams don't even have one cornerback that's above that grade um now in 2020 he did play a lot like I said he had a 52.2 so he's gone from a 52.2 in 2020 to a 67.3 in 2021 so he's developed nicely um and it's just been really awesome to see in my opinion really really awesome now uh, amongst other cornerbacks in the entire league um he ranks 40th overall and he's our third cornerback he ranks 40th overall out of 118 starting cornerbacks uh, so he is in the better half of that and it's going to be really awesome to see where his career goes. He's 24 years old, like I said, and he has a whole lot of years ahead of him. And will he be that next really good Patriots cornerback that went undrafted, like Malcolm Butler, like Jonathan Jones, and like J.C. Jackson? Only time will tell, but I really, really hope so. I really hope he does become a really good quarterback because, the first off, the awesome thing is we will get Jonathan Jones back, which is a really great addition next season. That'll be Jonathan Jones, Bryant, and Jackson. But the other cool thing, if you missed it about that, is that all three of those guys would be amongst those undrafted cornerbacks, if you think about it. Um, J.C. Jackson, undrafted. Jonathan Jones, undrafted. Miles Bryant, undrafted. So all three of those guys would be undrafted cornerbacks uh, if that was our starting lineup. And I think Jonathan Jones could really play that number two cornerback position. I'm pretty sure he's around six foot or maybe like 5'10 or 6 foot. Um, so he's not tiny. I think he can hold his ground and he has really nice speed. I think what we would have to do is we would have to put J.C. Jackson up against the tallest wide receiver, not the best one, which I don't know if that's what Bill Belichick would want to do. So only time will tell what, what they do at the cornerback position. But regardless, it's really nice to see Bryant emerging as a really great undrafted cornerback. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts down below about Miles Bryant. What are your thoughts on him? Do you think he's going to end up being really, really good? Or do you think he's going to end up kind of fading away and never being really a factor in the future? Or do you think he will be that next undrafted cornerback that plays really, really great for us? I mean, there's a wide range of different things that could occur. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens with his career. I'm going to be cheering for him. I'm going to be watching for his name for sure. Uh, because I hope he becomes that next great cornerback. Obviously, in Jonathan Jones' absence, I thought things were going to really struggle. I thought in the slot cornerback position, we were really going to you know, be in trouble. But Miles Bryant, for the most part, has played above average for a third cornerback. So it's been really, really awesome to see. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to smash the like button. Also, comment down below your thoughts on Miles Bryant and subscribe for the best Patriots content on YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next one.